We are back now on Most Buffalo, and today Klein Hands is hosting its National Geographic Live series. Today's presentation will be with an award-winning filmmaker, Brian Smith, about his adventures traversing some of the most remote places on Earth, going above, beyond, and then beyond that to tell important stories and take viewers places beyond their imagination. And joining us now to talk about the event is Brian himself. It's such a treat to have you here. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah, thanks for having me. I want to talk to you first about the name of the presentation, which is Capturing the Impossible. It kind of says a lot. How do you describe what this show tonight is all about? It's a show about my work as a filmmaker. And I, you know, think a lot of the projects that we do, they, they usually start with that word. People think, oh, that would be impossible. Yeah. There's no way to capture it. There's no way to do it. Um, and that, for me, is usually the motivation to go for it. Um, because if something is on that edge of possible or impossible, it's usually a really good story. Yeah, watch this. Um, one of your harrowing adventures was right in our backyard here. It was the first ever ice climb on Niagara Falls. So I feel like we could fill an hour talking about that. But what was your biggest takeaway from that project? That this place is really cold. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was incredible. I mean, we were at Niagara Falls during a polar vortex when Will Gadd was the first person to climb Niagara Falls. Um, and I think it was an example of one of these types of projects, something that people said was impossible. Um, but if you took Will's 30 years of experience as an ice climber and our experience in filming in those environments, and the next thing you know, it starts to become possible. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, what, an, what a place. Like, Niagara Falls is a place that everyone knows. Right. And, uh, you know, to experience it that intimately was incredible. And normally people would never be able to see it that way, but you bring people right in there. Yes. That, that's always the point is like, how can we, you know, make people feel a place like Niagara Falls during a polar vortex when, you know, they don't want to go there or right. be there. Um, we live in a world of social media where people do so many things, wild things for likes and clicks and attention. And you say that you adventure with purpose. How do you define that? I think usually every story that we tell will take people into a landscape or an environment. Um, and they'll probably learn more. And you look at some of the, 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 you know, the events or you know, the activities that we're doing, and some people would say, oh, that's like adrenaline, this is a stunt. Mm -hmm. um, there's usually a lot more to it. And I think a lot of the stories that we tell um, just take you deeper into these environments than people would go. And so there's a purpose there and you know, learning about those places or cultures or people. Um, and I think also just what we can do as human beings. Very quickly, I want to ask you, have you ever had a moment where you get into a situation and you say, I immediately regret this decision? All the time. <laughs> and you keep that's, doing it. That's like my job. I mean, I always, I always say, like, you know, I don't know why I keep going back for the table or back to the table for yeah. more. Um, and every time we finish one of these things, I'm like, never again. Um, but then, you know, slowly, um, you know, after a couple of months, you start thinking, OK, what's next? Well, we're lucky to have you do it, and you can have the opportunity to learn more tonight at Klein Hands at 7 p.m. Tickets are available on kleinhandsbuffalo.org. Brian, thanks so much again. Best of luck on your adventures wherever they take you. Thanks. we got more to come here on Most Buffalo.